The IRS released new tax brackets for 2023, and many Americans could get an effective tax break of sorts to adjust for higher inflation. Robert Frank joins us at the desk, no less, with a look at how those brackets may be changing. Yeah, so Andrew, every year the IRS adjusts the brackets for inflation. This year, those brackets increase an average of 7%. That is the biggest increase since at least 1984. The top rate of 37%, that will kick in next year at 694,000 for joint filers. That's up from 647 this year. All seven brackets will now have higher thresholds. And because wage growth is now at 5%, and lags inflation, some taxpayers get a lower effective rate. So take a taxpayer making $750,000 this year. They would owe $212,000 in federal income taxes. That's not counting deductions and everything else they might do. Say they get a 5% raise next year. They earn $38,000 more and pay $10,000 more in taxes. But that's $5,000 less than they would have paid under today's bracket. So they get an effective tax cut of about $5,000. <clears> Other parts of the tax code also adjust. You've got the standard deduction increasing by $1,800. That benefits the lower and middle income taxpayers. At the high end, the estate tax exemption rises by almost a million dollars to $12.9 million for single filers. It's a little bit of a hollow victory, like, oh, yay, right. the yeah. government doesn't get as much money, but that's because inflation aided. Right, and you're still kind of, if inflation is really higher than 7%, you're still not keeping up with Even the with stuff inflation. you're paying for. Right. But it, because we have this weird arbitrage where wages are not keeping up with inflation, at least on the wage side, it's like a small, you know, uh, tax cut. Is it a, it, I'm trying to think through the, the math. If you're on the higher end, it looks bigger, but in a way may actually be less. If you're on the higher end, on a dollar basis, basis it's right. bigger. Uh, but again, this, this doesn't really affect sort of income above 700000 So the very high end, you know, they were already paying that 37% rate anyway. It's really the amount of income below right. that, that, that you're, you're basically paying more income at a lower rate below it means, that. It means the Treasury dollars coming in are also going to are going to be less out of, by inflation, too. So people, everybody all the way around is, is getting bit by this. The government's not going to have the same spending power, and you have higher interest rates. That exactly. It's more expensive to pay off the debt we do have. Exactly. There will be a, probably a drop in revenue compared to if today's brackets right. continued into next year. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.